Welcome to my first episode of Rachelanius, which is basically going to be a show where I kind of ramble on or talk about random topics because I've been accused of talking about video games too much. So this is my attempt of holding a conversation that has nothing to do with video games. My first topic for episode one is going to be my second love, pets. I have had a large variety of pets. One of my first jobs um, was working at a vet and I ended up working as a vet technician for I think over four years. I was a vet tech, but I was also in charge of the homeless pets division of the vet I was working at. So whenever an animal came in that was too little, too much of a baby to be able to spend the night on its own, of course I would take it home and I'd foster them. So at one point I was fostering three itty bitty teeny tiny kittens. Like when I first got them seriously, they could fit in my one hand and I don't have a very big hand. And they had three of them and they were the cutest little things ever. They were so young, their eyes were barely open and they didn't know how to eat or use the bathroom on their own. So I had to teach them how to eat by using a little bottle, teach them how to suckle on that. And then after that, teach them how to suck up wet cat food and then later, you know, introduce a little bit harder food. And oh my goodness, did they make messes when they were learning how to eat that wet cat food. They would like basically crawl into the bowl and sit in the wet food while they ate it. They were little messes. So I had to give them little baths each time. The three kittens I was fostering was actually Peanut, Spike, and Spot. Peanut was the only female. I have a softness for female animals. Basically because ma boy animals, they hump things and I don't want to cuddle with an animal that humps things. Because if my dog or cat ever humped me, I would never be able to get undressed in front of it ever again. Because so I would think it was thinking dirty thoughts. So <laughs> I like female animals the best as my own pets. Um, so Peanut, I actually ended up adopting. She lives at my parents' house now because they all got along and she loves it there. So Peanut is a little black and white kitten that I was fostering and I ended up adopting. Spot and Spike, they stuck together as kittens constantly. And they would get in these cute little snuggles and they would hold each other while they slept. It was adorable. It was so adorable. Anyways, every night that I slept, all three kittens slept around my neck. So I had a kitten here, a kitten here, and a kitten here. And it was so cute. But at the same time, it was uncomfortable because God forbid I move. If I moved, then Spike was the one that would start crying first. And once he started crying, the other two kittens would start crying. And it was like having to put three babies to bed every time I tried to move because then they would they would start crying. I had to make sure they're all comfortable, they're not hungry anymore, or anything like that. About every three hours. So they were super cute. And I, it, being part or being ahead of the homeless pets division of our vet was really cool because anybody that wanted to adopt the pets that I was taking care of, they had to apply with me and then I was the deciding factor on who or which family I wanted to adopt the pets out to and that was really cool. So it's kind of like a lot of people ask me in 10 years where will I be. I still, I will always be gaming. I've been gaming since I was five. Nothing's going to change. I'm always going to be gaming. But I mean let's face it, I am a female. I do a lot of video work. I'm not going to be able to be in front of the camera forever. I'm going to age. No one's going to want to hire an old lady that talks about video games. <laughs> Where's the appeal in that? So I know that I'm not going to be able to do on, on camera stuff forever. I would like to go back to my roots in the industry, which is writing. I started out in the editorial side and writing reviews and things, which I've kind of got off of once I've been doing main, mainly video. I would like to end up getting back into writing because I do love writing. and um, But still, something that maybe in 10 years I'd like to do is I've always kind of to toyed with the idea of starting a cat sanctuary. I know, it's just a nice way of becoming the crazy cat lady. So yeah, I kind of want to start like a cat shelter or sanctuary for older cats. And I can go to the shelters, ASPCA, and get older cats so they don't die alone in a shelter. They can actually come here and live out their, their last few years in somewhere warm um, with me, <laughs> who's willing to give them completely unconditional love, more love than they've ever experienced, and fill up their bellies with yummy food. Um, and with my vet background, I'm really good at, at taking care of animals and noticing signs of different diseases and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I want to do. But here's the cool part. So if I have a cat sanctuary, right, for older cats, what would be a cool name for it? I came up with Catooine. 
I know, isn't that just ridiculous? It's totally a Star Wars reference, but it's got cat. Instead of Tatooine, it's Catooine. Don't you steal my idea. If anybody out there steals my name, I'm totally going to pull out this video, even if it's 10 years later, and be like, you stole it. I said it here first. But yeah, I was thinking of maybe in 10 years having a older cat sanctuary and naming it Catooine. <laughs> My family always knows that whenever there is a pet that needs a home, or especially if I find a pet that's been abandoned, I always bring it home. Every pet we've ever had was abandoned. Um, my first cat was named Dusty. He, I had him, I think, maybe when I was six or seven. My dad brought him home. They had found some kittens behind his office, and uh, he brought Dusty home, and Dusty was a great cat. He lived to be about 13. Um, then a little bit later, when I was probably about 12 or 13, we got our first dogs. Her name was Ginger. I named her. I named Dusty, too. I named most of our animals. And um, she was just the best dog ever. You know, if you have a family dog, the dog usually picks that one family member who is who they bond to the most. It was definitely me. She slept with me every night. She went everywhere with me. Um, Ginger was great. And she died from old age when she was about 12. Um, a little bit later... Or while we had Ginger, I got my cat, who you guys are probably very familiar with, named Sadie. And she was definitely what I call my my furry soulmate. I've never had a cat that was amazing as her. She was just, we went through so much together, and she was the best friend I've ever had. Like, even out of humans, Sadie was my best friend. And as you know, she died over the Christmas break, which sucks. Um, she was 13, and we're going to stop talking about her because I will start crying again. While um, I had Sadie for about two years, I found another kitty cat who had been brought to our vet and she had been abandoned. What had happened was she had lived on the back porch with her family, with her cat family of this house. And when she was a kitten, her a raccoon had broken into their, their back porch because it was a screened in back porch and killed everybody, all of her family except for her. So she was a little little damage she a little little mental damage but so nobody wanted to adopt her so I ended up adopting her as well and her name was Nala when I moved to San Francisco Nala actually went to go live with an ex-boyfriend of mine because out of everyone even out of me Nala bonded the most to him like she just adored him so when I moved out here I brought Sadie with me and Nala stayed with him which was fine because as long as she was happier with him with him it was all good and then after that, um, I went to one thing that I love going to, and I'll talk about on one of these shows too, is uh, I love going to haunted houses. So I went to haunted house one year, and there was a dog that greeted me named, well, it didn't have a name, and I asked the lady running the haunted house about him, and she said that he had been the neighbor's dog, and the neighbors moved out and had left him chained up in the backyard with no food or water. She brought, she unchained him and brought him to the vet, and he had been beaten he had broken bones, he had been starved, and her husband was pissed off because she spent money on this dog that wasn't theirs. And he told her that he was going to drop it off on the side of the road if she didn't do something about it. So I adopted him, brought him home, and he is just a perky, happy, ugly dog right now. He is a Chihuahua Beagle, ugliest thing you'll ever see, but he is a mama's boy and he follows my mom everywhere. Like, him and her are a tag team. Then last Christmas, um, me and my family went to the ASPCA because they wanted to get another bigger dog like Ginger was and we ended up adopting Luna who is a German Shepherd Lab. She is about a year old now this past Christmas and has so much energy. She is just so cute and ridiculous. <laughs> so then that leads me to lastly is my dog Yoshi who's behind me. Uh, she's sleeping. She's been with me for almost a year. She is a Chihuahua pug and um, she is just the cutest little thing, it's so expressive and such a little troublemaker, I love her. But also earlier in my life, I've had fish, I've had birds, mice, a rat, a lizard, um, chinchillas, ferrets, and um, hermit crabs. <laughs> I'm quite the pet person, if you can't tell. Anyways, guys, I'm really good at rambling, aren't I? I can just ramble forever. This is gonna already 12 minutes. I'm going to have to cut it down because it's just way too long to listen to me babble about things. So let me know how my first episode of Rachel Aeneas is. Um, it's kind of weird not talking about video games and trying to stay off that topic since it's pretty much what I always do. 
um, is talk about games. So let me know how this went. And also, please send me some ideas. Um, because not talking about video games can be really weird. I don't know how to carry a conversation on without making video game references and everything. And I really don't have any hobbies to really talk about or anything like that. So send me topic ideas. Pretty, pretty please. Maybe it's something you want to know about me or some area of my life you want to know that I can probably ramble on about. That'd be awesome. My email is rachelmore at gmail.com and put in the subject rachelanius. And I'll know to look there for, for um, topics because I don't, I don't have any right now. <laughs> this is the only one I had. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I love you. Have a great week.